guys, this is Comic Uno, and today I'm doing a review for Superior Spider-Man issue 8 already. Um, but before I start talking about it, um, Superior Spider-Man issue 8, let's talk about four comics I have uh, for Dark Avenger Inc. A review for Dark Avenger Inc. Um, that I usually do on Comic Uno, which is Vibe issue 3, Green Lantern New Guardians issue 19, Wolverine, uh, Ultimate Comics Wolverine issue 3, and also have an advanced review on Dark Avenger Inc. for Invisible issue 102. So if you want to go check out those reviews, just go in the description below and be a like for Dark Avenger Inc. But let's talk about Superior Spider-Man issue 8. Let's talk about the cover. Um, Cardiac's on the cover. We haven't seen him in a while, actually. But I think we, uh, he was in um, the last issue for uh, Superior Spider-Man. But he's actually an anti hero type of character. Um, so it was interesting to see him in this issue. Nice cover. like the art, but let's see if I like the story. The next issue is the big Superior Spider-Man event soon. So I was like, ah, this has to, um, you know, continue from that. This has to be a good issue to continue for the the battle of amazing and Superior Spider-Man um, for the next issue. Um, so the beginning of this issue is actually Cardiac. Um, we're seeing a little bit more of him trying to save people. Yes, he uses stolen equipment, but he's trying to save people. Um, we also get to see the story of the Avengers, and Avengers actually gets the Superior Spider-Man to take a test, a couple of tests, and the Avengers say, oh, you're, you're perfect. And Superior Spider-Man's like, wow, they're stupid, because I see that I'm not perfect, because he actually saw the test. And he's like, yeah, if Tony Stark was there, this would be different, but I got, I was, I locked out and I got the, the stupid Avengers. So, um, he realizes something's different. Now that's that's something uh, big. Now also we get to see Carly is talking to this mysterious person um, who ever got fired, um, saying, "I know something," and she knows that um, Peter is, uh, um, you know, in Doctor Octopus's body. No, Doctor Octopus is in Peter's body. She knows that. She knows that, and she doesn't know that Peter is still, you know, in. Um, you know, in his brain somehow, but um, she does know that something's up. And because um, when Peter did die, he's like, I'm when Peter was in Dr. Octopus's body in um, issue 700, uh, he, Peter only told Carly, and Carly's like, Ah, this is that's not true, but now she's realizing it is true, so she's telling somebody now, and that's gonna obviously bring to something. Um, and also, now we get to see Spider Man actually use the equipment that. Cardiac has, but helps a girl to use that equipment and starting to become a hero. He's like, I like being a hero, even though he doesn't do it in the right way. But actually, it made me choke up because it's like this little girl he's trying to help, and um, he helps he helps this little girl, and she's ha he's happy about it. And he even keeps the little stuffed animal that the girl has because she replaces it with a Spider-Man stuffed animal. Um, but Dr. Octopus does realize that Peter is in his mind, so he's trying to get rid of Peter, and that's what this big event is going to be with the next issue, and Dr. Octopus could hear Phantom Peter now, so that's interesting. Um, we'll see what happens with the next issue. I'm really excited for the next issue, actually. Um, I think this is an improvement from what we've been getting with Superior Spider-Man. Um, I haven't loved Superior Spider-Man as I wanted to, because I loved Amazing Spider-Man last year. Um, you know, what Dan Slott did I thought was risky, and he had really good stories. Spider Island was interesting, even Ends of Earth was interesting, he had really good stories. And um, with Superior Spider-Man I've been a little disappointed, because I felt it was like the same thing over and over again. I don't love Dr. Octopus's a attitude, but I like how he's changing in this issue with the little girl, I thought that was really touching. Um, he finds out finally that Peter is Phantom Peter, and um, the battle again with this next issue really um, that cliffhanger to bring us to this next issue was really good, and I wanted that, and I'm glad that we got that. Um, so I like that in this issue. Um, I like Cardiac. I like that he's kind of anti-villain, seeing that you know superheroes are you know not really for the law, you know, they're not really abiding to the law, but everyone's used to it by now, so technically they have their type of own law, but, um, they work around the law, but that's what Cardiac's doing too, he's not labeled a hero, but really he's just stealing material, and that's why I'm really, uh, for the law, but, um, really is punching people in the face for no reason for the law for superheroes, I mean, superheroes punch people in the face for reason, but they're working around the law, you know, they're not police officers, and police officers wouldn't be able to do what they do, so, um, really Cardiac is acting kind of like an anti-hero, um, you know, not doing the best things, but doing it for a good reason. And I do like that about Cardiac and him talking to Dr. Octopus in the end. I, I enjoyed that part of the story a lot, and that was most of the story, honestly. And then having Carly that bit, I'm sure that's going to play a big part also, her knowing and her being the only one that knows. Um, again, a lot of good things happen in this issue. 
The dialogue was a little cheesy in this issue. I think that was the one disappointment about it. <laughs> and one disappointment about Superior Spider-Man in general. First we have, um, actually on the live show we talk about this a lot, um, that there's two things that Superior Spider-Man tries to say because Dan Slott wants to make it a big, um, saying that way you know it's memorable and everything. The die is cast and access memory. Now he, usually it's like kind of like just said very low, you know, in the dialogue. You don't really notice it. But... <laughs> He yells it in this issue. The die is cast! <laughs> um, so I thought that was just hilarious because we talk about that on the live show all the time. So, very well then. The die is cast. Um, and it's like, yep, you realize that in the big letters now. Um, so I, I hate that saying and that's just really corny. And then the, the corniness in the end is also, Ready my equipment, I'm, being de I'm going to perform a Parker Ectomy. So cheesy. Um, so I didn't love the cheesiness of this issue, but um, I did like the story. I felt like there were some good things in this issue, especially improvement for what we've been getting. Again, it's just been the same thing over and over again with the past issues. Nothing really actually happening, but finally things are happening. Um, it, there's a story arc happening. So uh, I give this a four and a half. Really like this issue. Big improvement of what we've been getting, and I'm hoping it goes this direction for Superior Spider-Man. See where Dr. Octopus goes. He's starting to become a little nicer. Um, he still says those cheesy lines, and you still see the superiorness of him, but he's becoming a, a little bit of a likable character. So we'll see what happens with him. Um, I really liked it. Four and a half. Hope you guys enjoyed. This is Comic Uno and Dark. Uh, this is Comic Uno, and hope you guys um, follow me on Twitter for Comic Uno and the rant situations. I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys.